this is Jim from Absolute Control Irrigation Specialists. I wanted to welcome you to our channel and another episode of Tips from the Swamp. In this video, we're going to be looking at the R Plus Series Controller and the MSC Plus Series Controller, noticing the similarities and differences in the components that cannot be interchanged. Both of these units came out into the industry in the mid 90s. Their predecessor was the PAR, came in a 24 and 16 station version, or you had the MSC in a 16 or 24 station version. In the mid to late 90s, Rainbird updated these to the PAR Plus series and the MSC Plus series. They went to a modular control design where you had different modules performing different functions so that if you had a problem with a module you could change the module instead of the entire unit. Both the MSC Plus and the PAR Plus and PAR Plus ES which is the next version of the PAR Plus all used the same modular components. You had face panels as you've seen here a demonstrate a representative of each face panel. They both use the same communication module. They both use the same output station module or OSM. The differences was in, was in the power interconnect. There are two different power interconnects, both of them shown here. One of them is for the MSC Plus and the other one is for the PAR Plus. Now the PAR Plus will run with an MSC Plus power interconnect, but the MSC Plus must have an MSC Plus power interconnect, otherwise it will demonstrate or show problems. What I have here are two different power interconnects. One is for the PAR Plus series. You'll notice that it's fair, fairly simple, fairly light on electronic components. It works extremely well on the PAR Plus series, but it lacks the support componentry to get into the diagnostics of the MSC unit. The MSC power interconnect, as you will notice, has many more components in it, different chips for different sensing functions, so that it can perform the diagnostics that the face panel is capable of doing. If you're looking at these units, they're normally uncovered in a case. So if you look at them from the bottom side, you'll notice that the MSC has many more components soldered through the board than you will see on the PAR Plus. I have now plugged the PAR Plus power interconnect into my little demonstration group here and plug the PAR Plus series controller into it. When I turn on the system, you will notice that the PAR Plus goes through its boot up process and it comes up and tells you that it's a PAR Plus. It has an eight stations because it's only reading one OSM. It has a two wire communication module attached and time. I have now switched the MSC Plus and hooked it up to the PAR Plus power interconnect. And you watch the display when I turn it on and it will show you what happens as an error. Comes up reading hardware failure. That's because the PAR Plus power interconnect is not the right component to work with an MSC Plus. And it will do that consistently until you replace it with the correct power interconnect. I have now plugged the MSC Plus into the correct power interconnect. And when we boot it, you'll notice it goes through, it comes up to the screen, goes through it, self-testing the initial setup, goes through all of the light tests for station outputs, comes back up, and it now tells you it's an MSC Plus 8 station because it only has an eight station module attached to it. And we have the correct day and correct time listed. In both of these units, time is set in military time. 
So it's a 24 hour clock. So if you were setting this for 4 o'clock in the afternoon, that would be 12 would be noon, 13, 14, 15, 16 would be four hours later and that would make it four o'clock in the afternoon. Both of these units run up to 48 stations. The PAR Plus ES, which is the newer series, is capable of running 72 stations. The uh, functions are basically the same. They both will connect to a maxi communication system, whether it be a two-wire or link. One of the differences is the MSC Plus has some diagnostics built into the unit to show you if there's something that you need to be concerned with. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it is helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Please subscribe to our channel so you do not miss any new videos. We also appreciate your comments and suggestions. Remember, we will provide you a shipping label and we promise a quick turnaround on all repairs. Visit us on our website www.absolute-control.com for our contact information. Thank you from the Gator. This is Tips from the Swamp at Absolute Control Irrigation Specialists.